I would say that that just bringing a perpetrator around a child, you don't have to be romantically involved right. with them. Just allowing a perpetrator to be right. around a child, even when that child is now an adult, that is not okay. Yeah, right. talk about further revictimizing this poor girl that already was forced she was forced to give him oral sex dr drew that was the charge at eight years old what is mama june thinking mm. even putting him around her children even around honey boo boo who is nine years old and Krama, this is insane Krama, you have interviewed mama june right i have interviewed mama june and what do you, what do you think is going on here well can i tell you from my interview with her and from speaking with her this is the woman i'm saying this from being someone who was a teen parent let's be clear this woman, as a teen parent, is now an adult who is still seeking love. She's trying to find someone to love her. She looks like she doesn't have a lot of self-esteem, a lot of self-confidence. And when someone is a teen parent, doesn't have that love, is searching for that love, they do things that harm their children. And that's the unfortunate part of what's going on here. This woman is not really concerned about her child. She's concerned about, I just lost my husband, and I don't have love. And this man loved me. And so if he says he did right, well, I can believe him. There's a whole mental situation going on. On there. And Melissa, you must, and Melissa, our, our, there you are, our, one of our guests on the panel here. Melissa, you must have covered many, many criminal cases of sex offenders. What do you make of this? Well, listen, once a child molester, always a child molester, those urges never go away. And there was never a lot of trust within this family to begin with because according to the documents, when this first happened, you know, the eldest daughter went to a teacher about the abuse and didn't feel comfortable even going to Mama June. And there's another interview that says when she finally did, that Mama June said, how could you do this to me? Versus, you know, the abuse and the repeated abuse to her then eight-year-old who is now a grown woman and having to, you know, relive this I think you know TLC made the right move in yanking this family off the air and Anahita what about the remaining underage kids Did I think they need to be taken away dr. Drew because what kind of judgment is this I get that the guy served his time apparently he's not violating any of the conditions of his release but this is just ridiculous I mean how desperate and and stupid does a mother have to be to date a convicted child molester and it's not just any child molester it's the guy that repeatedly molested her own daughter Right. And it reminds me, Dr. Drew, of the cases that we covered on your show where we saw women that allowed their boyfriends and husbands to rape their, their kids yes. in order to keep the man in yes. their well, lives, to keep I, them I happy. Tell you, well, I, Karama, you back me up on this, but usually what we see in women like that is that they too have been sexually abused as exactly. a young person. Completely. And, and they, they right. just, they, they don't perceive these boundaries normally. Yeah, and I think that's what's happening here. I mean, mm -hmm. if you look at Junior, I'm telling you, I've talked to her and I've looked her in the eyes, and this woman has a lot of self-esteem issues. And also, June is no boo-boo herself. The woman is very smart, she okay? Is smart. She is I very agree. contrived. She's very calculated in what she says. She's and the not way smart. That she, yeah, she's no, not, no, no. Oh, you my guys, God. No, no. I mean, listen, we, Krama and I both talked to her. She is not a foolish woman. At all. Okay.